Okay. So here's the tutorial for base clip that I said I was going to do and then never did. Um, basically, I just wanted to explain like how I can do it as consistently as possible. I mean, it's not 100% consistent. I don't know if anyone has it 100% consistent, but I mean, if you do, feel free to let me know. Um, basically, to do vase clip, you got your vase, you're coming to this corner of the shed. I usually, there's like this little patch of dots here that I'm circling. I just sort of place my crosshair near it. There's not even like a specific dot that I'm looking at. I'm just putting my crosshair over here, and you're going to drop the vase, which pushes you up a little bit, and then... While you're up here, like in the air, you're going to uncrouch. And that was actually too high. So I didn't, I just clipped on top of the shed, but you're going to be clipping like into the wall and you'll know, here I'll show you hopefully. Um, yeah, when you see like the wall halfway across your screen. Um, and it's at this point that I usually just like shake the mouse and it drops me so that way I can like grab my hammer and miss it but that's okay um that's pretty much all there is to vase clip like I don't have any sort of trick to figure it out more consistently um just make sure that when you're doing it you're not you're uh, uncrouching after you're dropping the vase so like if I do it at the same time it makes it harder to get up because I'm crouching before uh, my uncrouch would push me above the ceiling. Because if I do that, I'm just going to hit the ceiling. But if I do it while I'm higher in the air, it clips me into the wall. Let's see if I can grab the hammer. Let's go. Um, let's, let's see. I don't think there's anything else to vase clip. Although I know I said that before and then gave you a tip on how to you know, not hit the ceiling. Um, oh, actually, sometimes, I don't know how I'm going to try to replicate this, but sometimes the vase will, like, when you fuck it up, let's see if I can fuck it up. Sometimes, alright, I can't, for some reason I can't fuck it up now, but uh, when the vase, like, flies away from you, it's always going to fly away in the same direction. It's going to come, like, over here. So it's, like, going to do that, basically. Um, so if you see that the vase, like, if you didn't get vase clip and it, like, flew out from underneath you, it went over here. Um, there's some, there's a rare chance that it will, like, phase through this wall and just fall on this other side. Um, and at that point, your run's just fucked. I mean, I did set my own personal best by having the vase, like, fly away from me and grabbing it while it was in the air over here, because I knew where it was. Um, but I mean, if it's over here, you're fucked. Let's see, what else? Um, I see GD Bros, the world record holder, like, look into the wall a little bit when he's doing this, and I don't know if that makes it more consistent or not. Like, sometimes I'll line myself up, like, perfectly, like, so that the wall is, like, straight on, and that works too, but I'm not sure, really. I don't think you have to line it up, like, perfectly. Um... So drop on crouch. Okay, I can't do it that slow though. And, oh, I just replicated the vase thing. It just flew over here. Yeah, it's always going to be over here. Um, yeah. So you're trying to uncrouch when your head would be above the ceiling. So that's all there is to vase clip, really. Sometimes, I mean, you're, you're not going to get it for like 20 tries, and then you're going to get it like 50 times in a row. Um, and then on the run that's on world record pace, you're going to not get it, and it's going to fuck you. So I apologize for that in advance, um, but it is going to happen. I, I'm sorry. Face clip, face clip is weird. Like, as you can see, I'm hitting it all these times right now in a row. That is not going to happen if I actually attempt to do a run. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm wasting my luck here, honestly. Um, usually when you hit it and you're coming back to do second vase clip, like for the normal route, um, it's just going to be like lying right there. 
But I mean, you might get unlucky and have it like fly down into the tunnel. Uh, one time I had it come up here on the shelves. I don't really know how I did that, but it did happen once. Um, what else can I share about Vase Clip? I'm not going to edit this video, by the way. I'm just going to post it to the Discord. <laughs> it's not going on YouTube or anything. So, yeah, basically, clip yourself into the barbed wire. Oh, yeah, I can show you. So when you're clipping in here... Yeah, sometimes you're going to, like, float upwards when you're inside of this wall. If you just look, you can, like, try to wiggle yourself out of this. Yeah, sometimes you'll clip on this side of the wall. Sometimes you're going to fall just out of bounds. Um, I don't know why the walls do that. But, yeah, walking out of bounds is actually harder than base clip, to be honest. It's just so weird. And, like, especially going around this turn, it's very difficult. But you'll see. Hopefully we get more people doing vase clip, because as of right now, I think there's only two. But I hope this makes it easier. So I appreciate... Wow. I'm really hitting it. I might have to go try practicing. But, like, full runs. But Yeah, I hope this was helpful. I'm just going to post it straight to the Discord the second I hit stop recording. So if you have any questions, just post them there. I think that's... That's everything I wanted to say. All right. See you guys.